Fourth is timing setting. So here, we are going to learn on how to design or determine the green indication for each phase. So basically, the green can be further divided into several types. And okay, before we go further detail into complex and complicated formula for timing setting, let us look into the basis of the timing setting. So now, basically for one traffic signal at the intersection, normally it will flash green indication before it turns to amber, followed by red. This is a sequence of one cycle in one approach before it flash green indication again. Let's say the minimum number of phases at one intersection is two. So when the traffic signal flash red indication, that's mean in the opposite direction or in other approach, in other phase will flash green indication. Let's uh, do one example where at one intersection which has two number of phases so let's say this is phase one and phase two let us sketch the timing diagram of phase two so when phase one flash green indication phase two will flash red indication at the end of green indication of phase one phase one will flash amber but for phase two it remain red if you still remember at the end of amber period there is a one duration short of, of time which it will flash all red period which all Faces will flash red. When face number one flash red indication, what will happen to the second face? Second face will flash green. At the end of this green period, the traffic signal will flash amber followed by all red period and during this period of time it will continue flash red because if you look at the above phase one it turned to green so basically from here beginning of green indication of phase one till the end of red indication of phase 1 and all red period of phase 2, this is what we call a complete cycle time. But now, when we talk about timing setting, we want to know the duration of each green indication or the duration of vehicle has right of way. Right, so basically, there are three types of green indication. First is G. N. N is referred to number of faces. So if you have two number of faces, so you're going to have G1 and G2. So what is this small g? This is effective green period. Effective green period. In designing traffic signal, we can get this gn by using formula i will show you the formula later on we have another one which we call it as gn as well but with the capital g this is actual green period for example if you have two number of faces so you're gonna have g1 and G2. If you have 3, then you will have another G3. And this capital G, this is actually 
is actual green period. Actual green period. And another one, we have KN. Same goes if you have two number of faces, so you're going to have K1 and K2. If 3, then you will have K3. If 4, then you will have K4. Okay, what does it mean by this K? This K is controller setting green period or also known as display green period. <laughs> Print eh? Print. <laughs> green sayang, green. Okay, green. So display green period. What is display green period? Display green period is when the traffic signal flash green indication. So that is display green period. While the actual green period is from the green indication till the end of amber plus all red period. So that is actual green period where the vehicle has 100% right of way. So, if the vehicle travel from the beginning of green indication from here until the end of all red period, they will still save. Well, for the effective green, this is much more complicated as compared to the other types of green, which we have to consider the loss time for each phase due to late start. So, where is the loss time due to late start? It is the beginning of green indication so this is the last time due to late start and normally it is about two seconds and the effective green period is from here until the end of amber time so this is the effective green period all in all we have three types of green first is effective green which is from the beginning of green indication minus the lost time due to late start. Second, we have the actual green, which is equal to lost time due to late start plus the effective green plus the orange period. That is actual green. And the last but not least is displayed green period. It is equal to GN, which is the effective green period, plus lost time due to late start, minus amber. Because the GN here including the amber. That is why for the display green, we have to deduct amber from the GN, but we have to add the lost time due to late start. Right, let us continue into our lecture note about timing setting. So let us consider phase N. It can be any phases. Let's say at one intersection, it has two number of phases. It can be phase 1 or phase 2. So now, let's say we name it as a phase N, which it start with green, followed by amber, or red period, red period, before it flash green again. So basically, from beginning of green indication till the end of red period for this phase, it called complete cycle time, C0. So now, let us look into L. This is lost time due to starting delay, which is usually 2 seconds. So where is the lost time? Here. 2 second in the beginning of green indication which we'll consider as lost time due to starting delay. Second, GN. If you still remember just now I said GN, the G with little g that we call as effective green period for phase N which we have to minus the L here. So basically the GN is from here, which is beginning of green indication minus the lost time due to late start till the end of amber period of time. 
So this is effective green period. And the formula equal to Gn equal to Yn, little y, multiplied by Co or C0, which is cycle time, minus L. If you still remember, this L is the total loss time over capital Y. Capital Y, L, and C0 we get from the formula cycle time, from the previous formula. Y we can get from Q over S. If you still remember, Q, little Q over little S, which is Q and S for each approach. So then we can get the GN, the effective green period for phase N which is start from the beginning of green indication minus the loss time due to late start till the end of amber period. So, from here until here, that is effective green period. We have the actual green period for phase N. So, the actual green period is actually from beginning of green indication till the end of all red period, which if you travel during this actual green period of time, you will be safe. So during this R or red period, because all faces will flash red indication. So basically, the actual green period for phase N equal to effective green period plus L, which is we deduct from the GN here. So, plus L, plus all rate period, plus R. If you look at here, GN, from here until here. But the capital GN here, from here until here. So, we have to include R and also loss time due to starting delay. Next is controller setting green period or the display green period is the time when the traffic signal flash green indication. So basically, the KN is from here, starting off green indication, till the end of the green indication. And the formula, display green period equal to GN. Why both formula has GN? Because we have to determine the GN first. Then only we can determine the capital GN and also KN. So KN equal to effective green period plus loss time due to late start for that phase here, L, minus amber. Because here we want to know the time setting for display green period. We don't want the amber. That is why we deduct amber from this formula. So basically, the KN is from here till here. Well, the intergreen period is amber plus R. Okay, so this is basically how we get the effective green period, actual green period, and also controller setting green period. And first and foremost, you have to calculate the GN because we only can get the GN because we have this cycle time formula. And in formula KN and capital GN, there is a GN here. So basically, we have three types of green setting. Effective green period, actual green period, and controller setting green period, or the displayed green period for phase N. And the phase N is referred to Number of phase, phase one. If you have three number of phases, so you're gonna have three GN, three KN, three little GN. Okay, so so far so good. You understand? Okay, you can revise, revise, and revise again till you understand. Then you can try the example in the lecture note. Thank you. Bye.